Hey everyone, this is Ryan Casada. My voice sounds a little deep because I'm on tea. Actually, no, I have a cold. Um, I'm not going on tea. Anyways, today I wanted to make a video about my tattoos. Um, specifically, I wanted to make a video about this tattoo because everyone is like, what the fuck is that? And they want to know so badly what it is. So I decided, you know what, let me make a video about it and tell everybody what it is. I wrote a piece for Original Plumbing Magazine about this tattoo and I wanted to read it. And uh, this is the magazine. It's really awesome. And uh, hopefully I could breathe while I'm reading this. I'm still getting over this uh, sickness here. This is what it looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty funny, doesn't it? But, okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, Home by Ryan Casada. Sometimes it's hard to feel at home anywhere since I travel so much. I've driven across this country five times, coast to coast, and I've been on more flights than I could ever remember. Lots of people ask me what my tattoo means. Is it a pocket? Is it some weird satanic symbol? Just what on earth is it? Elementary school was rough. My parents were divorced, and I shifted houses every weekend. I didn't have many friends, and I was bullied a lot. I went home from school crying on more than one occasion, whichever home it was that day. I was lost. I was uncomfortable. I was afraid. I found myself in baseball. Baseball. The Red Sox. The 2004 World Series. Kurt Schilling's bloody sock. Reversing the curse. Johnny Damon's grand slam in Game 7. I obsessively started cutting out newspaper articles that mentioned my beloved Boston Red Sox and plastering them all over my bedroom walls. I memorized the starting lineup, I memorized all the players' batting averages, and I knew who the starting pitcher was for every game. I was subscribed, and sometimes I skipped school to watch games. I also started playing Little League, and because at sign-ups they told me, told me baseball is for boys and softball is for girls, I played softball. I was amazingly good at it. I was nicknamed Twinkle Toes for my triples that should have really only been sing singles. I stole home, I sprinted home, and I hid it inside the park home run once. I was also the catcher of the team, and I caught for one of the fastest pitchers in the league. I gave hand signals for strikeouts, and I threw out steals at second. I was voted onto the all-star team every single year that I played. I stopped playing just after 8th grade when I lost my balance due to permanently losing my hearing in my left ear from a mystery illness. Doctors ordered that I quit playing sports if I wanted to keep the hearing in my good ear. I decided that I better keep my hearing so that I could play my guitar and continue to write songs. I still love baseball, and I still scream when the Red Sox win the World Series. Getting moved around as a kid from mom's house to dad's house and now never settling into my apartment because I'm touring too much, I've realized that home could really be anywhere. Home is where my mom is cooking her red sauce and meatballs. Home is where my dad and I are watching TV and laughing and sometimes crying. Home is where my brothers and I are all together. Home is where all my friends gather. Home is on the stage where I get to play in front of hundreds and sometimes thousands of people. Although I've found home all over the country, I'll never forget the first home I had behind home plate. That's why home plate is tattooed on my chest, right above my heart. And still I continue to run home wherever that may be because I know that home is where the heart is. And that's why I have home plate on my heart. Thank you so much for listening. Peace.